was informed that this was a clear violation of the firm's policy on outside of work activity. If you haven't watched Annie's video yet, you totally should. Basically, her big law firm determined that her social media activities, including posting paid partnerships, was a violation of the company policy against employees taking on outside of firm work. This is a fairly standard uh, prohibition that most, if not all, big law firms have. And I want to give an example of the default level of control that a law firm expects to have over its associates, but in a slightly different context. Let's say that I was invited to a wedding a month from now on a Saturday, but I don't get a plus one. In order to go, I have to ask, hey, boyfriend, I am invited to a wedding on May 4th. And is it OK if on that Saturday I am unavailable during that time? I can only go if he says yes. Or let's say I wanna take a weekly dance class. I have to ask, hey boyfriend, I would like to take a weekly dance class 7 to 8.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. Is it okay if I attend? And I can only go if he says yes. And on some weeks he might say no and I wouldn't be able to go. Or even, hey boyfriend, I would like to join the board of a nonprofit that I'm really passionate about. Can I do that? I can only join that board if he says yes. So if he were my boyfriend, you would probably call that a toxic relationship, right? But that is the default level of control that big law firms expect to have over their associates. Of course, there are exceptions and some firms, some partners, some particular groups within toxic firms are better at creating an environment that's more freeing. But what I described is like the default expectation going into the whole endeavor. And this isn't to say that you can't have what seems like facially a robust, a robust life, right? Like you can probably go to that wedding. You can probably attend that dance class most weeks. You can probably join that board, but you still need to ask first. And that is a little bit of an anachronistic relationship between the firm and the associates, but there's like a fundamental distrust and control that firms expect to have over its associates. So for those of you who asked how I was able to do paid partnerships at the same time that I was in big law, I had to ask every single time and I had to go through certain procedures every single time to make that exception every single time. And in that way, you can almost kind of see like how these policies are a little bit arbitrarily enforced potentially.